Hi, I'm Romeo. I'm the head chef of uh, Victor Churchill, and I'm going to show you how to do a hand-cut pork sausages. So the first step is I'm going to prep the, uh, the meat. I'm going to remove all the, um, all the sinew and uh, all these, uh, the tissue there. The cut we're using for the, um, for the sausages, uh, we're using the pork shoulder. Okay, so here's uh, the part of the shoulder. You know, we've got the bottom of the shoulder or it's the neck, we call it the neck, okay? It's the, it's the best cut uh, to making sausages. Um, a lot of flavor, the texture is very good for, uh, for dicing or mincing. The three things you, you should be looking for when you buy your fresh meat is the, the look, you know, it should be appetizing. Um, the smell, uh, smell fresh, and the, and, the, and the touch, you know, if you're able to touch the product, you know, it should be, non-stick, you know what I mean? It should be nice, uh, nice and smooth. You, you have to have something um, where you could uh, put through to a nozzle, you know what I mean? Sort of, a, sort of a dice like this, that's what you want, okay? Around one centimeter, one and a half. It's very important to making sausages to, to, to use the right type of fat. No fat, no flavor, okay? And the dry sausages, okay? Um, there, there's 20% uh, there's of fat. Okay, it's a sort of a minimum you, you should add to, to uh, quality sausages. So um, now I'm gonna add the seasoning. I've got some sea salt. Um, I've got half a kilo of, mi of uh, mince. So I'm gonna add uh, nine grams of uh, salt. And I've got some uh, ground white pepper and I'm gonna add one gram. And you're gonna give a, a well mix. Um, after overnight, um, I'm gonna add uh, the white wine, okay? And I'm using um, a dry white wine, a typical uh, wine for where I come from in Brittany, in South of Brittany. I think it's a quite easy, uh, easy uh, sausages to make. Um, you just need a, one popping bag and a nozzle. And the mix, you're gonna put through. The next things, uh, we're gonna push the mix to the, to the pork casing, okay? I've got some uh, pork intestine. Um, where I put um, in the water, in the warm water, uh, 20, 20 minutes ago, you know, to help uh, to lubricate the, uh, the casing and I help to push it uh, easily to it. So I'm taking my, uh, my casing and I'm gonna put it um, to the nozzle. Okay. I hand tied with my hand the, the end of the, uh, of the popping bag and with my other hand, I'm just pushing pushing through um, the casing to the nozzle. And as well, you don't need a, a big uh, length of casing, okay, to do that step, okay? It's better to have a, a short one. You're gonna hold the casing, and uh, with my hand on the popping bag, that's where I'm gonna start to give the pressure to it, okay? And you have to try to have the same pressure, to have a regular flow. The, the idea there is, um, is to get a, a, a long sausages, but regular in a, in a, in a pushing, okay? The good thing about the, um, the hand cut one is um, you can see the, the real difference between the lean and the fat, you know? Um, you might think it's, the, it's more fatty than the normal sausages, but actually it's the same amount and the normal sausages being processed with the machine. Tie the knot with one finger and with the other hand, you go around and you're pushing. I'm gonna portion it, okay? Sort of a 100, 120 grams per sausages, okay? and I give a, a good pinch to the casing, okay? And when you're ready, when you haven't got any meat, you got only the casing, I'm gonna give a, a flip to the forwards, okay? To twist the sausages, to have something nice and a, nice and a, a good pressure there. And I'm gonna repeat the same things, but instead to go forward, I'm gonna go backwards. And you've got four beautiful sausages. Leave the sausages to, uh, to dry uh, overnight um, to get a better flavor and a, and, a, and better color when you're gonna cook it. The best way to cook the sausages, um, it's on a, on a medium heat um, and around uh, six minutes each side, okay? And if you wanna be very, very per uh, perfect, you can do a sort of a four minute each side or the four side of the sausages so that you get a nice color every, everywhere. The only time I will use a tomato sauce is maybe with hot dogs, okay? But for a product like this, it's so delicate, I will, I will use 
um, a mustard or an apple puree. And there are the tips I can give you about the, about the cooking. Is, uh, it's the best as well to, uh, to leave to rest as well. Um, not for long, a couple of minutes, just to hold that moisture inside and, uh, and juiciness. Um, and it'd be very, uh, very tender when you're, gonna, when you're gonna eat it. The general rules to, to buy sausages, I think it, first is gonna be uh, the casing. I think it's important to buy uh, sausages with natural casing. And uh, the sausages should be uh, nice and tight, both sides, not broken, um, and uh, not too processed, you know. If they said on the tag is a pork, you should be able to, to see the meat, basically.